G'day, and welcome to another edition of Daz's Arcade Games. Um, today we're going to be doing an interesting little game called called Helifire, made in 1980 by Nintendo. Um, now this is a rarity, I think. It's one of Nintendo's very, very early games, and it's probably a game which a lot of people have never heard of. Um, I certainly never saw this in the arcades when I was younger. And um, it's an interesting little game. Reminds me a lot of Polaris. But obviously this one's a lot more colourful and there are a couple of extra little, little things that go on in it. And it's actually a very hard game to play. Um, so what we'll do, we will have a go at this one. And we will see how we go at it. Okay, now there's just a couple of things to note that one... I don't think there was ever a port to a home computer system. I might be wrong about that, um, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Again, maybe I should have done some um, some research into this. Um, it's an eight-way joystick so that you can move your submarine on angles. And of course, there's only one button. Now, it seems that this game is very repetitive but it does get harder. Um, anyway, it's probably easier to show you than to explain to you. So what we'll do, we will put in a credit and, and see how we go. Okay, as you can see, that, that, that you're on a sub and the idea is to shoot all of, all of these helicopters. And now the first level is relatively simple. And now, after you shoot them, you come up to these white ones. Now, you'll find that when you're about to shoot the last one, you will get some things appearing on the bottom of the screen. Like that. And you get through them there. But you have to watch um, um, for the really fast missiles that, that, that will come out and attack you. Okay? So, try and stay in the centre of the screen. see those horrible things that are coming across the screen there? Your margin for error is tiny. And there's that last one. So we'll shoot the purple one. And then you get a, a yellow one. And if you miss him, God help you. So we've missed one of them there. And there's one left. And if you can get the last one, um, that will actually end that first level and you move up to what I call wave 2 and I, and, and I guess it is wave 2 because because um, this game actually goes back to its start. Now I'm not sure how many arcade machines got made of this. I would presume that, that, that there wasn't a real lot. Because like I said, I never saw this, um, I never saw this game in the arcades over here. Shoot him, and we need him. And that first one, one got away from me there. So, so now the idea is just playing survival, and to dodge all of all of those bombs that these guys are shooting at me. And we'll go down and get him. And now we've got to keep a weary eye on that fast one that's going to come. And now we've had our, our little friend here again. Okay, up to him. Can sit on the top and survive that one. And we can get our last purple one, which we did. It's imperative to get that first one there. And if we get the second one, even better. But as you can see, it's shooting horrible little missiles at me there. And, and we did it, and we got through wave two. And now we go back to the start again. But the thing is though, after you, you get through this level, every three waves it actually gives you a bonus, which is the same as in Polaris. So I'm just wondering if the people were like Nintendo who made this game actually looked at Polaris because both these games came out in the same year. Okay, shoot him, because just remember anything you can shoot in this game is worth extra points. Top 
ones, all good for you. Last purple one, get him, and we want him. Now we need to get back relatively close to the top again. There's that fast missile. Okay, we've got all three of them. And I missed him by a whisker. So now the idea is to try and survive here. And that was a little bit difficult, but we did make it. And now if we can shoot him, that'll end the level, and that's the first wave, I would call it. Because what happens, that's a girl, and I presume she's on an island, and you'll come up out of your submarine, You'll grab her, take her away, and do what and do anything you like with her. Who knows? I'm not even going to go into that. Okay. So now what happens is that we start again, and we have our green helicopters here. Whoops. And we're up to the second level of them here. Just be careful of, 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 of what it throws out at you. And there's one thing about this game, you do have to be good at dodging things and watching things in lots of different spots. Okay, here we go. We want him and him. There's that fast one. Don't ever go too close to the right hand or the left hand side of the screen because it will come out of nowhere and nail you. Okay, there's our first yellow one which we missed. Okay, and our second one, that's not a good start either. Okay, we've got the third one at least. Now, the fourth, oh, I swear that went through him. Anyway, let's see, there's another one. And if we're a good shot, we'll get through that level as well. And we again go back to the start. I actually find this to be a, a, a pretty good addictive game because the difficulty level on this game is not really easy. It's actually pretty tough. And, and, and if you don't watch what you're doing, you know, like, you really do need eyes in the back of your head in it. Gotta watch all of these, all of these rotten little snots, and you didn't really want to miss that. And I'm just lost my first man. Okay, so first man done, but it was a pretty good first man. Oops, and there's the second one. You see how quickly it can take men off you if, if you're not careful of what's going on. And we've got a horrible little thing shooting those things at us. And we're up to the next wave now. But the big trick in this game is actually being accurate enough to shoot all of these helicopters. Because if you're accurate enough and you can take them out quick enough, you can actually get further into the game. And now I must admit, I didn't even know that this game existed until about two weeks ago. Because a a website on Facebook called Retro Games um, Forever actually um, um, put this game up as a high school challenge game, and uh, I quite like like how this game looked. So I decided that I would have a go at it, and I think I'm gonna. Uh, and I think the comp actually finishes today, but I think I'm actually going to do. The, um, grab the best score. And as you can see, I just messed up then. I couldn't get through that gap. Okay. Okay. Now, oh, and I've done it again. Well, I'm really, I've really gone bad, bad in this level, haven't I? But that's because this guy here keeps um, shooting things at me. Now, the last one, and we got him, and we now get up to our second bonus stage in this game. But as you can see though, the game is getting pretty hard on you. It's starting to put a lot of things on the screen and it'll actually give me a bonus of a thousand points. I've got my second girlfriend now, so whew, I'm cruising. Okay, and we now move up to the third level. And, and as you can see, 
say it's playing some pretty bland, ordinary music for me, but I guess that's about as good as what they could do in 1980. And now, as you can see, it's throwing out the extra obstacles for me a bit quicker as well. And now, yep, and the fast one. We got him. We got him. And, but as you can see now, this screen is starting to get ridiculously full. And there's just nowhere to go then. And now we're up to our last man. And I actually thought I was going to beat my top score on this. I'm not sure now. Okay, we got him. Uh oh, bad shot. While I was going for that top one, I kind of messed up a bit. Okay, we got him. Whoops. And we've done it, and we got through the level. So now we're up to the next one. Now just remember, I'm, I'm on my last man. Okay, we're up to him. Now we're up to our little friends here. Sort of stuck a little bit far over on the left, which is where I didn't really want to be. Because if the quick lines come out, you really need to unbeat on them. Now we need it to get through this gap here. Miracle. That was an absolute miracle. Now, as you can see, though, there's stuff absolutely everywhere here now. But the good news is I've nailed, I have nailed I have nailed my top score. Oh goodness me. And I'm done. So as you can see it just filled up the bottom of the screen on me and that was the end of me. But pretty good effort. I actually beat my top score. Which is something I don't do very often when I do videos. So um, there you go. That's the end of, of that one and that is Helifire, made in 1980 by Nintendo, uh, and it is a, a little bit of a rarity, this game is, but it still isn't a bad game, and, and I must admit it is a game that I quite enjoy, so, so there, um, so there we all go, so that's the end of that game. As I just adjusted the camera a little bit better, maybe a little bit late after that gameplay there, but I will. I do need to buy a proper, a, a much better video camera, and I do realise that. But but we'll see how the quality of this one comes out. But because it's a relatively good score in this game, uh, I'll probably keep this. Anyway, so, um, so there you go. So I really hope that you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe to my channel. Um, it, it is a growing channel. Um, I think I've got about 57 subscribers now, so it is slowly but surely getting there. And and of course, if you um, like my video, uh, um, press the like button and leave comments as well. So I will see you all next time when I do my next video. Bye.